for having a kid. Your energy is back. What? I did not expect that. I don't want to do this. <clears throat> Motherhood is hard for me. I just want a normal life and to be happy and to have multiple boyfriends. Polyamory is easy, as long as you don't get jealous or possessive. I love my boys and they love me. Yeah, first it was just me and Brittany. I'm actually the one who brought up the poly idea because I wanted to have a threesome. I thought it'd be cool, me, Brittany, maybe one of her friends. But now, you know, there's three dudes in the house. When I discovered that Matt and Brittany wanted a third, my chakra started spinning. Hmm, they filled with energy and they swelled. Once they swelled enough, they just started releasing fluid everywhere. And that's how I knew this was part of my path. Uh, did you guys Venmo me for rent, by the way? For what? Yeah, it's not going great. Rent? For the oh, sweet. <laughs> rent is a concept. Rent is a concept. You know that, right? Yeah, no, not, not when I have to pay for it every month and you guys haven't been paying me. Legally, I can't kick them out. That's why I've been trying to just adapt. Okay, let's get those clothes off, and I think that we can actually start some healing right now. I'm just gonna mount you softly. Uh -oh. Open-minded. Okay. This is gonna okay. be good for you, Matthew. I can't move out. I'm actually the name on the lease, so I'm responsible for this whole place. I am absolutely obsessed with Britney. If you look behind me, there's a number of film posters from films I directed. It's always starring. Brittany, of course. Hi, Brittany. This one proximity is about how I would do anything to be in her proximity. I do craft my own pinatas. You build a beautiful thing that often gets destroyed. But the beautiful thing about a pinata is I get to choose when I destroy it. Freaky little gremlin. I am hoping to extend my horizons while I'm here, if you know what I mean. Would you like to practice what we talked about? Um, sure. Go ahead and close your eyes. Okay. And then just lean forward. Very good, open your eyes. You're being educated right now. Thank you. Where's Brittany? So the more that you experiment with me, the more likely the baby is gonna have some of your genes. This is how polyism works. So, yeah, that just happened. Let's see where this goes. Little did I know my first kiss with a human would be with a man. We're gonna play a game, can I touch? Yeah, yes. Can I touch? Yes. Can I touch? Yeah. Yes. Can I touch? I love that Amos is actually trying and like Matt isn't trying. And I really think that that's breaking Corduroy's heart. Well, have you know, Matthew, my libido is extra strong today. I'm feeling very, very virile today. Why do you think I want to know that? I just thought you'd be interested. I mean, Scorpio's moon, actually both of its moons are in Aquarius today, which means my rock chakra is full of light. In case you care, do you not care? I don't know anything you just said, to be honest. Rod chakra. Like your dick? I can show you. I wasn't sure what was going on there. Um, yeah, actually, I gotta finish this email. But maybe later? That's a start. I'm trying. I would love to educate you with my rod. Uh, corduroy can be pretty problematic at times. I actually have been entering Matthew's domain. I must confess. I have been giving him certain dreams, putting him in a certain state. It's very erotic. If I can get him to dance with me, if he will, then it will actually affect the DNA structure of our son. Okay. Good boy. 
Uh, it made me so happy to know that Amos has been getting physical with Corduroy. Corduroy has been pushing some boundaries and it's for the better. Just continue as if I'm not here. Oh, a dance, if you will. A celestial waltz. Amos's energy is agreeing with my seed. Oh, oh, we've fallen. Ah, Corduroy. He's fine. Why didn't you tell me this was out? Check points. People don't know this, but poly relationships, they actually create a communal fetus. This communal fetus contains the traits of X, Y, Z, Q, chromosomes you haven't even heard of. It's magical and it's how the bonobos lived. Okay, can I show you something? What? A little surprise. <gasps> that out. <gasps> Shut up. Surprise. Is that real? I used a very hot, very old pen and just got just deep enough under my skin to make it so it lasts forever. And I did it for you. Boys, take note, this is how you win bedtime with me. You get bed privileges for one week. Yes. Yes. Can you show that to every girl you meet? What do you mean? I'm hoping the other boys see how much more attention Amos is about to get so that they also get tattoos as well. I will have her name branded on my forehead. Thank you so much for hugging me. I have Brittany right where I want her. Oh, hey, Miss. Can I see your tattoo again? There it is. <laughs> okay. Matt is a little bit in the doghouse the last 10 months or so. So we had the conversation that he needed to be more open-minded. Remember what I said, you have to be open-minded because if this is gonna work, if this poly relationship is gonna work, you have to be open-minded. You said you would. I know, I just... It's my little project right now. I'm trying to expand his mind. I'm kinda thinking that like maybe we could just be in a relationship, like just the two of us. Matthew, we talked about this. I'm trying to be open-minded, but like me. I love when you're open-minded. It's really hot. Can I maybe stay in your room tonight? No, you don't get bedroom privileges anymore because you're being so fussy. We're in the same house. Can I just come talk to you? Corduroy told me that we can't be in the same bedroom until retrograde is over. What does that even mean? And it could affect my fertility. What the fuck does that mean? He's being educated right now. Hmm. Wait, why are you trying to be fertile? Are you trying to have a baby? You would be a dad technically too, kind of. No, I don't want to be a dad. Well, you would have to. What? It's not my kid. All the children are mine. Every child on this earth I consider to be my child. Mine to educate, mine to spend time with, mine to change and to mold, to fuse with. And we're gonna name him either a combination of all your names or denim. Denim, like jeans. You're gonna have a kid that's not mine, you're gonna name it Denim. We're having a kid. I don't know, I think it would just be nice if we downsized the group or added another woman, you know? Matt, you know, I feel like I've been really hard on you. You've always been really great to me and I really, I really can count on you. Right there, I thought we were having a moment and she was listening to me. Thank you, Brittany, appreciate it. And she brought up the kid. And that's how I know you're going to be a good mother. What do you mean? When Corduroy leaves in nine months for 18 years. I will be going on a retreat. Um, this is going to last 18 years. And during that retreat, I will be planting more celestial seeds. Wait, yeah. he's leaving when the baby comes? Yeah. He has like a retreat thing. It's really important to him. If any of this gets too much ever, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, and you know, I'm always gonna put you first, because, you know, it was us, it was us. Yeah, thanks babe. Hi, Brittany. Hey. I was wondering if by chance I could uh, introduce a new uh, partner to the house. Who is he? She 
is named Rainbow Sparkles. Um, I met her at a convention at one point. We don't need any more girls. Say yes. I say no, that's fine. Are you sure? Because mm-hmm. I would lo- love for you to meet her. You guys might like each other. I don't she think... is six foot three. I don't think uh, Corduroy is going to like that. He wants me to like preserve my feminine energy. It was Corduroy's idea anyways. What do you mean it was Corduroy's idea? I probably shouldn't have done that. Corduroy! Hey! Hey! What? It was Rainbow Sparkles. What are you suggesting? I'm asking. What are you suggesting? I'm not. What are you suggesting? I'm asking. What are you suggesting? This is good for you. Question yourself. That just broke my heart. It literally makes me feel like they don't love me. Amy said that it was your idea. <clears throat> oh. Um. <sighs> I, I think it would be good for you if there was more competition for your uterus. What? <sighs> I'm sorry. Would you like to perform 71 lashes? I don't know what that means. You get to whip me. It was super selfish of them and it made me question if this was the right lifestyle for me for the first time since we started this, which is very unfair to me. I wrote this in my diary after the scolding. I've been humbled by her grace and I am now poised for a spiritual metamorphosis. When I emerge from my ethereal cocoon as a hypermasculine presenting moth figure, I will dance throughout the home, sprinkling my moth dust as if to sage, purifying our space of my past energies, my transgressions. I understand that now. I was wrong for my behavior. However, it is now clear to me that I'm actually not responsible for any of my own actions. <laughs> and it is truly Pluto's celestial antics during retrograde. I'm an innocent pawn of cosmic mischief, your honor. Don't take me away. Thank you.